I love the smell of jacaranda in the morning. <laughs> the common misconception with jacaranda is that it's an Australian native species. Actually, uh, the Australians have done a bit of a, a far lap Russell Crowe situation where we've uh, kind of adopted them as our own when actually they originate overseas. Now, the word jacaranda uh, derives from an ancient language around the Argentina and uh, Brazil area, which is where they uh, naturally occur in that subtropical climate. And that climate is uh, the cause of their, their flowering time, which is very, very late in the spring, um, because over there, uh, that's the start of the wet season, which is a really beneficial time for trees like this to flower. The most uh, iconic thing about jacaranda is the flowers. Now, they're these uh, long, tubular, purple, bright, bright, bright inflorescences, like a whole bunch of flowers in one place. The way it's structured is there's, you've got the tube, and it kind of curves down towards uh, a little climax and it's got a, a, a flat portion uh, underneath and that acts as a landing platform uh, for the bees to, to go in, drink the nectar and take the pollen away with it. There are a few legends uh, surrounding jacarandas in university. One of them, because of the, the flowering time and how it coincides with exam times, when the jacarandas have started to flower, it is deemed way too late to properly study. But by that point, uh, you're not going to retain anything new. It being so close to, to the front of the uni, um, and when everyone walks into uni, it's a constant reminder, oh my God, it's late, I'm doomed. <laughs>